Aaron, obviously, if you can give us your thoughts on the actual experience. Uh, it didn't go the way that you wanted, but the performance of your team and just the overall experience, please. Yeah. Yeah, I was just telling Jason on the way over here, um, that's probably the greatest setting for a baseball game that I've, I've ever been a part of. It was, it was, it was awesome. Uh, Major League Baseball has done an maj amazing job uh, <laughs> creating that experience. I I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. Obviously, it was a, uh, uh, you know, pretty special, special game that you know unfortunately didn't go our way. But um, as far as the atmosphere, the playing field, the 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 perfect weathered night. I mean, it was it it was something to behold. Go ahead, Marley. Um, Aaron. Obviously, Haney it wasn't his best performance tonight. How do you see his role, you know, continuing this rotation? And what does it say about your team that it hasn't happened very often that you guys have been able to come back in a game this way? Yeah, I mean, really good to see a lot of a lot of really good at bats against you know some of their great relievers. You know, those those guys are at the back end are having really really strong season, and the guys kept grinding away, and everyone kind of having a hand in and having some really good at bats against them, and. Obviously, putting together a really strong ninth inning there um, on offense, um, you know, and Andrew just, you know, the long ball got him. Just, just, you know, the first one to Abreu, 0-2 count, you know, can't leave a ball in the strike zone there. You know, that, I mean, as as great a hitter as Abreu is, you know, that you got to try and get it to expand a little bit there. Uh, you know, and then after we scored the few runs, I think walked the leadoff man, and and then another 0-2, you know, ball where he leads in the strike zone to Anderson, hits the double on him, and then you know, and then they put some good swings on some balls for some home runs. Obviously, Jimenez with the three-run homer that was tough. So, you know, just staying away from the from the slugs been 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 a little bit of a struggle and and something that that we got to get a little bit better at. To your right, Aaron. Aaron, uh, from your view in the opposing dugout, uh, what kind of player is Tim Anderson, and what, what kind of presence is him is he for baseball, uh, especially on a stage like this? Well, unfortunately, he's a really good player. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I, I think he he certainly likes playing in, in this kind of environment, and um, you know, has established himself as an All-Star caliber player at shortstop in this league, and uh, you know, obviously hurt us tonight. Other questions for Aaron? Anything else? Marley? Aaron, obviously, uh, how did it hurt you today not having our oldest Chapman and Zach Britton has been struggling a little bit in, the, in this role? What, what are you seeing from him, particularly in a, in a, in a game that looked pretty easy, uh, how he started the night there? Yeah, I thought he came out really sharp. The stuff was good, much like the other night in Kansas City um, or yesterday in Kansas City where you know, he came in, put put the ball on the ground a few times in a row. We're we're seeing this, we're starting to see in his last few outings the stuff tick up. You know, we're starting to see the velocity tick up a little bit. Came out really sharp, gets the first hitter, gets 0-2 to the next hitter. Probably think we have an out on the dribbler down the line, and then you know, I I, I you know I think where you kick yourself is is obviously being ahead in the count there, and then losing him. And then Anderson, you know, not always easy to elevate one on Zach. Anderson was able to do it the other way on a pitch that probably was left a little bit up. But I think the one, you know, losing losing that second hitter on the after having a mo two, that that's the one that hurts a little bit. Aaron, have you ever been part of a, a, a team as good and competitive as this one is that has suffered this many gut punch losses? You know, I mean, it was after that top of the ninth, um, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I think you've heard me comment on that a lot yeah. this year. So this one doesn't rank up with some of the ones we've had, frankly. I mean, we, we had a one-run lead that we battled back to grab, and you know, a good team got us, and and you know, they they were the last one standing. So um, we'll move on from this one, and like we have all, all throughout, and and. Uh, you know, <clears throat> try and rest up on this off day and, and, you know, come ready to roll on Saturday and try and try and go grab another one.